In the fall of 2000 here at Saddleback Church, we did a 50-day campaign called 50 Days of Faith. And in that 50 Days of Faith, you remember, we looked at uh, eight different definitions of faith. But what do you do with your faith once you know what it is? Well, there's an entire book of the Bible written to tell us how to live by faith. It's the book of James. Over and over again in the book of James, it says, faith without actions is dead. It's a very practical book, and over the next six weeks, we're going to look at the first half of the book of James, and then in the next six weeks, we're going to look at the second half of the book of James. And I know you're going to have a good time as we go through this. The book of James may be the earliest book ever written uh, in the New Testament. It was written probably around 48 AD, and it was written by the half-brother of Jesus. James was the son of Mary and Joseph, and of course, uh, Jesus was only the son of Mary. He wasn't really uh, fathered by Joseph. So uh, they were half-brothers. Uh, he was also a leader in the Jerusalem church. And James wrote this book to teach Christians the practical benefits of uh, the Christian life. It's a how-to manual. In fact, during these weeks, we're going to look at such things as how to avoid arguments, how to be blessed by the Bible, how to be wise with your wealth, how to face your future, how to have real faith, how to manage your mouth, how to pray about your problems, how to quit playing God, how to relate wisely to others, how to treat people right, how to win over temptation. And uh, today we're going to look at the personal profit behind your problems. Now, uh, without a doubt, probably the greatest problem in, among Christians is the lack of spiritual maturity. God's will for your life is that you grow to spiritual maturity. In fact, in Hebrews 6.1, it says, let us go on to spiritual maturity. And this book of James is a manual of how to grow up in your Christian life. It tells us how to measure spiritual growth. How do we measure spiritual growth? Well, not by comparing yourself to other people, not by comparing yourself to uh, Christians of the past, but by comparing yourself to God's word. In the book of James, we have a manual on spiritual maturity. In fact, James uses the word maturity five different times. It's the word teleos. Sometimes it's translated complete, sometimes it's translated perfect, but what it really means is mature. And in this book, he gives us the marks of spiritual maturity. Now today, we're going to just start with the first uh, six verses of James. So open your Bibles and let's read James chapter 1, uh, verses 1 to 6. 